Weather has been pretty nice today. It was on the gusty side. We were seeing wind gusts around 35 miles per hour, but those have died down a bit. Still a little breezy. We still have clear skies and a beautiful look across the Allegheny River from the North Shore towards downtown. We have 41 degrees. Our winds have calmed to about 5 to 10 mile per hour winds, and they're going to continue to back off tonight. So winds dying down. Skies staying mostly clear through the night. It's going to be a pretty nice night. We have 41 in Pittsburgh, still a little warmer in Cranberry. Beaver Falls, too, low to mid 40s there. We do have temperatures trailing off to, to the 30s up to the north. Dubois into Franklin, uh, upper 30s there. Still in the upper 40s for Morgantown, but all of our temperatures will settle into the lower 30s by the time we get up tomorrow morning. We have the clouds down to the south. That's holding on to Morgantown's heat just a little bit better. But uh, as we go through the day tomorrow, these clouds are going to win for Pittsburgh. We have high pressure slowly drifting across the area, and still it's hanging on to those clear skies. High pressure usually brings you the clear skies, but you can see there's a whole lot happening back behind it. Some clouds, bottom left-hand corner of your screen, some rain. That system has even a snow element. That's what you see all up here. This is going to be moving towards us. Now it's going to graze us. Most of this is going to go down south of Pittsburgh, but some of that snow is going to try to inch up towards the city here. And we're not looking at accumulations of anything more than a coating. Barely that, little to nothing in Pittsburgh. But up into the ridges, you might get an inch out of this guy as it comes in. Here's how Futurecast shows this working out. We get those clouds. They streak across the sky early tomorrow morning, so we quickly turn mostly cloudy. Those clouds stick into the afternoon, but once we get towards 2, 3 o'clock, watch. Start seeing that rain moving into central Ohio. This is going to be snow down to the south. You can see 9 p.m. trying to brush into Pittsburgh here. Again, we're not looking at big numbers from this at all. And this is a good timed system. It comes in tomorrow evening, lasts into tomorrow night and early Sunday. And by the time the sun pops up on Sunday, I think most of this is gone. So we'll clear the skies out through the day on Sunday. Sunday, not a bad looking day. A little cooler, but a nice looking day nonetheless. And we'll see those clouds try to sneak back in a little bit on Monday. So a lot happening here over the next few days. Tonight, though, nice and quiet. 30 degrees, cold. 29 Butler, Franklin 28, 31 Connellsville, 32 down in Morgantown. Tomorrow, those temperatures generally in the mid to upper 40s. So uh, a day where our temps are just a couple degrees shy of what we would consider average for this time of year. So not too bad in the temperature department. In Pittsburgh tonight, mostly clear and 30. Tomorrow, you're looking at highs of 47 degrees. Those clouds increasing, light and variable winds. And the seven-day forecast shows that most of that activity that we see snowfall-wise is tomorrow evening into early Sunday. And then it's done. We get some sunshine on the back end of that. Clouds increase again Monday. Tuesday, 55 degrees and cloudy skies. Some showers Thursday and Friday next week. And that is your local forecast. If you need to know what's going on here or anywhere else, or you want to see the rain and snow moving in tomorrow, do it all with the KDK Weather app. It is an interactive radar. You can search weather conditions for anywhere in the world. Plus, it has current conditions for what's happening outside your door, and it's free. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.